What's going on guys? Kaforty Brothers here for another little video. Buddy. Yeah, buddy. Out here in Pittsburgh. We're up here in Pittsburgh, right here in Shinley, Shinley Park. As you can see, a nice big golf course. They have a, lot, a huge car show every summer up here called the Pittsburgh Vintage Grand Prix. Yeah, you guys should check it out. It's yeah. awesome. They got like thousands and thousands of Oh yeah, of I, think it's, I think it's like the seventh or eighth largest car show in the world. Yeah, I, think, I mean, it's, like that. it's unbelievable. The whole it's, golf course and nothing but cars, yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's a nice spot up here, nice and quiet. Did you guys see the 55 over there? So we got the 55, we're out, we're out and about. We all went you know, up here I in Pittsburgh. Yeah, I went to go do a little couple pictures up in Mount Washington. Yeah. Mount will do a little editing through you, so you right guys. Now. Yeah. yeah, we'll show you yeah. some pictures. <laughs> yeah. So. All right. So. What car is from the 55? Yeah, it's it's real clean right now. Right now, look at this. I don't even know how to talk today. I said right now, right now. Look, give me in the shot. Now I'll get, get the car you. in the shot. Now give me in the shot. I'll get the car in the shot. Look at that. That's nice they don't want to see me. They want to see the car. I'll clean it is. Yeah, we're um. We're, doing the, we're talking about the advantages of buying a high mileage car today. Yeah. All right, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to talk about the advantages of buying a high, very high mileage car, which there's not really much. We just thought of this while we were up here, by yeah. the way, too. So, I'm going to walk around some oh, more. Okay. We're going to do a cool review video on this, guys, but uh, uh, we need some more cameras and stuff, so we're going to have to wait because it's going to be a cool video. But We're always busy at school. Yeah, look at the car. Look how nice it looks. It's nice and clean today. It looks yeah. clean. Yeah, clean. Uh, I love the tips are clean. Yeah. But nonetheless, in this video, we're going to be talking about, I think well, there's only two, right? Yeah, I know. We, we could think of two. We pretty yeah. pretty much thought about this one on the spot. So like yeah. we were driving, and I told Matt, like you know, this is nice as cars high mileage because we really we drive the hell out of it, you know. Yeah. So that with that said, we're gonna start off with the first oh, advantage of buying a very high mileage car. So go ahead and tell them exactly what you just said. So like I said, uh, you know, when you buy when you buy a car like this, like one of our dream yeah. cars, you know, you wouldn't really want to drive it that much. Kind of want to like if it baby. Had, like you know, like rule of mileage was a clean example, worth a lot of money. Like, yeah, you want to like baby it. with a Supra. Yeah, Rob Freddy the yeah. Supra. It's got 19,000 miles. You don't want to drive it. He doesn't want to drive it. Yeah. So if we like a couple years ago, we were looking at E55. It only had like 18 or 19,000 miles. I guarantee, you if we would have bought that E55. We would be sitting in the garage like our E350, yeah, like 20 it. miles a year on it. Yeah, now, so that's that's the first advantage. Yeah. And you buy a car high mileage, you don't care. You drive it, you have fun with it. If you get a door ding, oh wow, it's got a lot of miles on it. So it's fun because yeah. we, you know we're actually enjoying the car. You know these cars yeah. are meant to be driven. We're enjoying. <laughs> we drive it. in the snow. We drive it yeah, everywhere. we're driving. I mean, not eight inches of snow. I mean, one time we did. Yeah. Check that video if you haven't. But yeah, but we drive the video. I mean, not video. <laughs> Jesus, can you? We talk? drive it everywhere. Yeah. yeah, we drive the car everywhere. So it's a good time. Yeah. Now that brings us to uh, advantage. Well, not, I guess you say advantage. Now, number two. So um, it's cold out here, guys. What's the second? I forget. I don't remember. All right. Now that Matt got his thoughts again, we yeah, can go on to the again. next part. Yeah, you know, because there's not many that have very high mileage car. But the, so the second advantage of buying a car with a ton of miles on it is that, especially if it's a one owner like our car, that means in order for it to you know get to this to point, reach that point, that means someone had to maintain it, and probably dealer maintenance, just like this car. So. This car's been dealer maintained just basically its whole life. So that means, you know, the services were done regularly, oil changes, all kind of stuff. So that means the car should be, you know, pretty healthy if it's been, you know, regularly maintained. Yeah, so that's, I'd say that's, that's a pretty big advantage because, you know, a lot of cars, most people will drive them once they hit about, once they hit about like 100,000 miles. And they start slacking off, take it to a Jiffy Lube. They slack Lube. off on a maintenance, you know, they start going to Jiffy Lube instead of the dealership. <laughs> get the cheap, stuff like get that. cheap tires. Yeah, and they just like slop around with it and stuff. But, you know, when it's been dealer maintained its whole life, one owner, that means usually you got a pretty good car. It means it's, it's probably been maintained its yeah. whole life and whatnot. But, yeah, I think that's a, that's those are two pretty good advantages of buying a very high mileage car. That's that's probably about it. After that, the biggest advantage, probably not. The biggest advantage is just driving the hell out of the car. Though. Yeah, I mean, I mean, like you can really enjoy. You get to have fun with it. And plus, you know, if you're an enthusiast, how we like how we are with the Mercedes, you get to really test it out and see what it's like to buy a car with this many miles and drive it and enjoy it and stuff. So, you know, based off of what you know what this car is for us, I'll tell you right now, this car drives amazing with these many miles. So, you know, one with like 50,000 miles is gonna feel like a new car. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, don't get us wrong. We are gonna yeah. get another E55. Probably one with like uh, no more, miles. More than one. Probably yeah, probably more than one. We're, I mean, we're gonna get at least two more. Yeah. Least. Yeah, one for each of us probably. Yeah, we're but, gonna start off with this one for now though. But yeah, I, w I want an, I do want another one with like no miles on it, delivery miles. Just for like collection. Yeah, purposes, just to have yeah. it in our collection. But you know, I like, having, the, I, I like to get a white one. one. I, I love them in white. They're amazing. I like pewter. Pewter is my favorite for the E55. Pewter, pewter, pewter is silver. I hate black. Black's so nice when it's clean. But nice when it's clean. But you, you park it in the garage for one day and it's covered in dust. You take it for a spin, it's covered in dust, and yeah, that's just how it goes. Yeah, wow. so that's pretty much it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. It was just like a little. Tell, quick tell video, us what but. you guys think. What do you guys think about that? Would you, if you yeah. had to pick your dream car, would you want one with no miles or a lot of miles so you guys would drive or it? Somewhere in between. Or somewhere or in between. Just, or would you like that multiple? Yeah. We even if, even if this car had like 150,000 miles, they're still gonna drive it all the time. But 400,000, yeah. You know, now you just yeah. kind of see how many miles like, you get on when it. When we buy, we plan on buying another, at least one more low mileage one. 
that one we won't drive as much. We'll keep it for collecting yeah. collection purposes. But this one, we're gonna run this one to the ground. Yeah, I mean, I, I, <laughs> I think I think it'd be fun. Like, for example, if you had a nice Ferrari or yeah. Porsche GT3, if it had like 100,000 miles, you're gonna want to drive it all the time. If you yeah, got one enjoy. with, if you got like a Ferrari 458 with delivery miles, you're not gonna want to drive it. So. Yeah, you just want to keep it in the garage. You know, keep the dust off of it. Don't let it see rain. And that there was there was a Ferrari. I think it had it was a 360. Didn't it have like 100,000 miles. Yeah, so that, that would be awesome. On, that would be awesome to have. I made a video on it. I, I was watching. It, I think the other day actually. Maybe we get yeah. one of those for, for the for the channel. That'd be pretty cool. Hey, we are Italian. We need an yeah. Italian car. We need an Italian car. That would be sick. Ferrari 100,000 miles. I would drive that thing yeah, everywhere. Yeah, high mileage Ferrari. That sounds like a nightmare of maintenance, though. Oh yeah. Hey, but it had to get that far. So yeah, it's like, it, yeah, that yeah, car though. I did look at that car when it was for sale. I think it was uh, like an 01 or 02 yeah. or something. I don't know what it was, but it had 100,000 miles, yeah. and it was. I think it was a one owner car, all dealer maintained. So you know that car was yeah, definitely a good car. That's a key car. thing. Look for dealer maintenance. If it's, if it's been like you know Jiffy Lube its whole life, then that's probably not the, yeah. not the best one to buy. But yeah, yeah so, you know what? That's it. Yeah. So tell us what you guys think in the comments and. Uh, share this video, yeah, like it, do whatever you want. Follow us on Instagram yeah. at the Caforti Brothers for more uploads and you know, not uploads, but you know, more recent all, content. All, all, all old videos. Everyone keeps saying to you, you know, they, they're talking to me. They're like, you know, this dude he's talking over his brother the whole time. What do you think about that? I don't know. You, th you think? I think I am. Hey guys, we ain't professionals over here. We're not professionals. So cut us some slack. Yeah. <laughs> but until but next yeah, time, take that's care. It. See you guys.